Remember when all loyalty cards were like this? Maybe a buy nine and the tenth is free and the card got punched or stamped right there on the spot. Now magnetic cards crowd our keychains and bulge our back pockets. It's the Costanza wallet and you know you have one. Here are three ways to lighten your wallet in a good way. Setting up Samsung Pay is really easy. Samsung Pay launched in the U.S. in fall of 2015 as a more widely accepted competitor of Apple and Android Pay since it requires no action by merchants. Just load your card, set the security, and bam, you're good to go. But there are limitations. It only works with certain Samsung phones using only selected wireless providers and can only hold up to 10 credit cards. Next up. Cardberry looks just like an ordinary plastic card. But inside it has... A bunch of complicated gizmos. Never mind that. Your smartphone holds the information from all your original cards. Then you use the app to select what card you want to use, and the phone tells the card berry which of your loaded cards you'd like to use. Complete the transaction as usual. This is a startup. The card's going to be 100 bucks. You can pre-order at cardberry.com. Finally, Wocket is a self-contained system that does not involve your smartphone. This device can hold 10,000 pieces of information, and it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Wocket replaces your wallet and contains a single programmable card. There are credit cards, debit cards, loyalty cards, and if I wish to use a credit card, it's literally using the touch screen and selecting which card I want to do. And you would take this and you would swipe it like a regular credit card. And for gym memberships, loyalty clubs, or gift cards that don't use magnetic strips? I can bring up a barcode and scan the barcode. It's 180 bucks at WocketWallet.com. Hey, you don't have to get rid of the rewards or the memberships. Just thin out that wallet by ditching all this plastic. We have links to all these services at our website, thelisttv.com.